America is an extraordinarily resilient country. We just had this, this uh, you know, extraordinary pandemic, and yet our economy is strong, low levels of unemployment, it's extraordinary. Yes, this man is a chronic liar. Let's talk about that really quick. It sucks that jobs are just acting like they don't see that eggs are $15. Salaries have not increased, but everything else has. And the salaries that have increased have been pennies on the dollar. On top of that, a lot of people cannot find jobs, myself included. I've been job hunting, I have had no luck, and my resume looks good. It is very hard out here to find a job right now. I have friends that are degree certified and all of that that are having a really hard time getting a job. I don't know what we're expected to do as a whole. I know for me right now, I am gonna get a bridge job, so let me know if you all would like to see that. I'm thinking about doing a segment of me doing DoorDash, Instacart, and those kind of things. So let me know if that's something y'all would be interested in. The jobs that I've been looking at on Indeed and other websites, they're starting at $15 an hour. That's how much they were paying back in 2020. Things have changed, but companies are acting like, oh, we, we don't see that. I know y'all see it. And this is causing a lot of people to have to get two jobs. So I made a video yesterday basically talking about how I have my two degrees and I can't really find a good paying job right now. I, even though like I have a job and I'm trying to find like I guess a job more related to my degrees or that pays better because the world is really expensive right now, you know? Now, so I just want to clarify like my degrees were in criminal justice and organizational psychology and people are saying that like my degrees are the problem i don't know i thought they were good degrees at the time i guess i was just too busy you know being involved with a really crazy man who got me pregnant and then i just you know first semester senior year i'm dealing with like an abortion and then it i've seen how the mainstream media is struggling to polish things off you know fencing like biden economy is good but what people are facing, I have a couple of videos which you will see exactly what people are going through. It is important. I show you this. I came across this video recently posted by Consecutive Perspective. He shared this on Twitter and it is important. I show you what is going on. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please endeavor us to do that. It will do you no harm if you share out this video. According to this tweet, he put out college graduates shock after finding out their college degree is worthless in Biden economy. New grade have a harder time landing their dream job in Biden's labor market. That is a problem a lot of people are facing when you want to say this to Libras, they will never believe you. They will argue you from today to tomorrow. No, Biden's not done a bad job. Why do you think he has? What's so awful? So when Trump was becoming a 2016, when he was going to be president, everybody said World War III is going to get started. Do you trust him with the nuclear button? What if he starts this? What if he starts that? Everybody's like, oh, my God, into the world, war is coming. Everybody was worried about it. This guy's going to be a dictator. That's all mainstream media ever talked about. Um, then he's president, two and a half years, nothing. But then happens, of course, things change. It was a surprise to everybody. Zero war, zero issues. ISIS disappears. Temperature for war is down. Economy's doing well. Everybody's happy. Cold happens rather than choosing to, you know, put the onus and the responsibility on China. What do we do? We put it on Trump. Yes, and Mitt Romney is sitting somewhere saying the economy is okay. America is an extraordinarily resilient country. We just had this, this, uh, you know, extraordinary pandemic. And yet our economy is strong, low levels of unemployment, it's extraordinary. And, and is that because the, the president is pulling all the levers in the right way? No, it's not. It's because the American people are fulfilling their dreams. So and the economy is strong. The eco the eco yes, the economy is strong. There's no question. The economy is doing, doing well. Uh, and, uh, and, and that's because of the American people. It's not because of the president or the Federal Reserve. They can mess things up. But, but the American people pursuing their dreams is what makes America work. Will we suffer slings and arrows? Yeah. Will we come out the other side? Absolutely. Meanwhile. Important question on most new grads' minds. How does the job market look? 
Recent study indicates it might be getting a little harder. Our Bella Caracta is on your side with a deeper look into the landscape of hiring for these new degree holders. Banyan Nice had never been to Nebraska before college. I literally just came out here, took a total leap of faith. He's from Hawaii. His dad has a background in trade work, but Nice has a knack for finance. Literally every single day is different. We're always reacting to the market, learning about new companies, new industries. The past four years, he's been building a resume. Looking for full-time roles, maybe like a year and a half out. According to the latest report by the National Association of Colleges and Employers, it's taking longer for graduates to find a job, from five and a half months last year to six months this year. According to that same study, it's also expected hiring for the class of 2024 to drop by nearly 2%. In a tough, tight job market, it really is the little things that stand out. According to the senior director of Creighton's Career Center, New graduates are looking for jobs that typically require a college degree. Corporate to nonprofit to healthcare to uh, government organizations. Those jobs are just getting more competitive. At major companies like Google, Amazon, and UPS, they've announced scaling back on hiring. It might not be a uh, first job out of college, but maybe that's that second or third destination. Yes, Mitt is out of college. I don't know if he's actually experiencing or observing what we are seeing. He says everything is good, the economy is booming, jobs are there. Then why are young graduates like this searching for jobs and they cannot find? You saw the research, even Google made it clear that it is absolutely difficult now for young graduates to secure a job on a Biden economy. Then you will sit and tell me, oh, everything is cool. I understand what this man is doing. He's against Trump in different ways, but this is not the right way to do it. Sit and do the analysis. N nothing will do you. You will not die if you speak the truth. Tell the truth. You must not copy what the mainstream media is doing. You know, with these fake statistics that they put out on a daily basis, like, oh, Biden is, uh, economy is booming, this is happening. Meanwhile, when you go into the field to observe, ask questions, to look at people, you will see a total different thing. I'm glad I was fortunate enough to see this video, to see this young graduate complaining here. Because when you do a video like this, maybe just bring in some kind of footages to report, people will say, oh, this is just crazy. Bimaha is there standing, saying the same thing. Biden did a great job. I want to know what Biden has done. If you look into the statistics of young voters taking the decision to choose Trump over Biden, it is because of things like this. You cannot lie them with figures. They are there, they are experiencing it, their friends are experiencing it. When Trump was there, this was not happening. So tell me why they will not take a decision. There is one thing with politics, you cannot lie to people all the times. You just need to speak the truth, you know, carry out your jobs. Let the number speak for itself. Let the job speak, don't talk too much. That is what I realize with these people. I keep having flashbacks to Lewinsky Clinton, right? Mm. And one of the reasons I think Bill Clinton was able to survive that whole Monica Lewinsky chapter. Um, Easter 